Welcome to everybody. Now I will try to share my screen. Because I brought some slides, which I hope. Yeah. So, Rheinwald University of Applied Sciences. Um, just to, to make it more clear, this is, uh, let's say, we also teach theory and basics, but we also focus on the application. Mm -hmm. And um, this course uh, or program is a Bachelor of Science course. That means natural science about environmental sciences and energy technology. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I'm a professor for biology and environmental monitoring. Uh, the program representative is Professor Buda, Professor Irmgard Buda, but unfortunately today she has no time. And uh, so that's why I present the, the information about our, our program. Um, and on the website of our university, you will find the contact details also for Professor Buda. Uh, and she can give uh, also detailed information about the aims, the aims, what you will learn, what you would learn in this Bachelor of Science program on environment and energy is you would learn basics of natural sciences, chemistry, physics, biology, um, environmental sciences, but also about engineering. It is a combination of environment aspects and energy aspects. So it's also engineering, but of course, also the other skills you need like program uh, project uh, management, uh, um, economy, environmental economy, and so on. And together with that, the application, the application of this basic knowledge in environmental sciences and energy technology. And our aim is to enable you, enable graduates to develop sustainable solutions for actual challenges. That is what we want you to learn. Because there are lots of challenges in both environmental science and energy. Uh, and these are, they are so important. And we just like to teach about the tools you would need to develop ideas for the future. So the job options, there are several job options. Uh, it is very difficult to say where you could work because, um, I mean, if you, if you study uh, medicine, you, you might become a doctor. But uh, if you study environmental energy, there's a wide field of uh, possible jobs you could find. Um, very important would be energy consultancy to find solutions sustainability, energy management, but also evaluation of ecosystems, evaluation of the state of ecosystems, of the pollution uh, of, um, mm. yeah, how to improve a city, uh, how to improve, um, how to develop agriculture in a, in a modern way. Uh, evaluation of the state at the moment on this basis to uh, to develop solutions for the future. Engineering, of course, there are little offices and big uh, companies. They need uh, graduates trained in, in engineering, uh, energy engineering. Construction industry is very important. Also public service to uh, control pollution, to find um, sites with problems. And uh, What's also very important is this cross-sectional knowledge to know a little bit um, so that you will not be afraid of nothing. Uh, all these um, topics will be tackled a bit. And uh, yeah, so there are lectures, seminars, exercises, tutorials. Um, at the beginning, you will have uh, lots of lab uh, lab practicals on chemistry, on biology, on physics, and so on. Um, we also focus on excursions to interesting sites. Mm. 
here's one example of uh, the Audi Max big, biggest lecture room. And on the left side, you see a photo from an excursion. So uh, it's not just uh, lectures, it's a lot more. We have uh, several practicals and practical work. So, but to be a bit more mm. precise, what is meant with environment of environmental energy? Um, environmental science is, um, it's about ecosystems and abiotic and biotic environmental factors which have an effect on the system. A system is a combination of processes which all interact. And uh, important is to look also at the anthropogenic impacts on these complex systems. And uh, mm, yeah, in ecology, it's the same. It's a system of interactions between organisms and the organisms and their environment. It is uh, therefore also about pollutants, pollution and remediation of pollutant, uh, polluted sites. You will learn a lot about natural cycles of matter, the water cycle, the carbon cycle, uh, global change and actual trends. And uh, um, all this has a lot to do with uh, basics in chemistry, physics and biology. In energy, uh, uh, there are steam turbines uh, um, run with fossil fuels, also wind turbines, hydropower, solar energy. Uh, all these topics uh, will be tackled and um, the interconversion of the different energy types into each other. And uh, yeah, you, you will have the, you would have the possibility to learn a lot about um, energy technology. This is how the study course is organized. So we start with the first semester, that's the lower um, part. No, is there I light something no. So there are there are three or there are four uh, parts. Data analysis and processing you will would have to do also with IT, natural science and applied ecology, engineering here in blue, and economics and business administration and this kind of uh, topics. And in each, you start with the basics and then you go to more um, specific topics. So you would have in the IT, you would have, of course, mathematics, um, uh, scientific programming, statistics, and data processing, and then later on, uh, geodata, uh, uh, geographical information system working around. So in the natural science, uh, uh, you would uh, get an in introduction to ecology and environmental sciences. You would learn about uh, biology and natural cycles of matter, uh, inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, microbiology. And then there are some uh, more specific topics like uh, evaluation of ecosystems environmental assessment, research management, and environmental health, that is epidemiology, uh, remediation and uh, redevelopment of contaminated sites. So in the engineering part, of course, at the beginning, physics and, um, and then uh, fundamentals of energy technology, thermodynamics, but that's not, not an important topic. Energy technology, and then applied measurement and control. That is where you, um, you have the, the task, task to set up sensors on your own. Process engineering, that are the more, let's say, um, advanced topics. In economics and business administration, uh, project management, legal fundamentals, details on uh, environmental legislation and entrepreneurship, Mm. Then in the fifth semester, you would have a practical 20 weeks, uh, 20, 20 weeks uh, in, in a company or one semester abroad in another university. Mm. In the sixth semester, oh, sorry, I, I mixed it. In the sixth semester, you would have this internship, which is a very good opportunity to learn how professionals uh, deal with these topics. 
um, there's also an interdisciplinary project where students from all uh, courses of our faculty work together on one topic. And that's really a very good um, opportunity to, to uh, learn teamwork and to have an insight into what so it's taught. And uh, for example, there are many, many aspects which have to do with environmental science, for example, sustainable transport, also with the study course on mobility and logistics and with uh, IT study courses. Okay, and then in the seventh semester, um, there would be uh, time for the bachelor thesis and the colloquium, that is a uh, oral examination, and then you will get your grad graduate. Then you would be graduated in environmental energy. Okay, these are the basic courses. No, they are, I just want to repeat again. These, let's say, base. Basics and natural science would also enable you to be quite well prepared for a master's study. Because most of our um, graduates, they, they continue studying in a master course. And that's why it's so important to have also a wider view on natural science. Okay, now I would like to give you some information about Einwald University. Uh, it's a young university established in 2009. Um, we have two locations, one in Kleve and one in Kampel in Fort. We have 53% international students and that is the highest percentage in whole Germany. And this is, a, let's say, it is so interesting, you learn not just the view on one country, you immediately have information about the same topic in other countries in other parts of the world. And that's really important. So we have four faculties, technology and bionics, life sciences, society and economics, and communication and environment. The, the, the faculty, communication and environment, mm. That is the one located in Camp Lindwart. And this study course I'm talking about is the one of the communication environment faculty. 75% of our degree programs are taught in English and totally in English, not half German, half English. So we have 25 bachelor degrees and 11 master degrees at our university. And these are all the uh, courses of our faculty in Kampel That means in this interdisciplinary project, you would work together with students of these other um, uh, bachelor courses. We have some bachelor of arts and some bachelor of science uh, courses, and also some are taught in German. We have four master programs, design and interaction, and so on. So you, you find this information also on the homepage of the university. This is how the campus is looking like. It's quite modern and, uh, yeah, it's a nice campus. You, uh, every day you, you meet all your friends coming. This is a map on the upper part. you see the campus with the different buildings. Mm. South of the campus, there are the dorms, or buildings with dorms for students, and there is a big parking. And then there is a green tablet that is additional building in which we have a lab for digital fabrication, uh, but there's a focus on sustainability. So about me, I'm professor of biology and environmental monitoring. I'm teaching at the Faculty of Communication and Environment in the Bachelor of Science program, Environment and Energy. This is what I'm presenting. And I'm also teaching in the, the Master of Science uh, program about Information Engineering and Computer Sciences, uh, where data science, environmental data play a very important role. So I'm teaching a lot of topics, only some of 
next year, biology, microbiology, ecology, uh, natural cycles of matter. So I'm uh, dealing with environmental monitoring, environmental legislation. And so this is uh, Professor Buda. Uh, he is the professor for renewable energy and electromobility. I'll show you this uh, slide because she's uh, responsible for the management of the course. So she can give us some information as well. All the phone numbers and email addresses are available on our website. So she's uh, also teaching in both of both uh, programs and she's uh, energy technology, energy economy, electromobility, and her research is on energy storage, sustainable transport, and renewable energy. And we have other professors, uh, which I can, cannot list all. Um, of course, our university has an international center. Mm. It's a central hub for internationalization and languages. And, uh, um, they, they help with finding Erasmus uh, uh, internships and uh, they manage international projects. We have a welcome center and you decide to study at the University of Rheinwald, then we would have, uh, yeah, a freshers week, the first week. Uh, they help this uh, bureaucracy. They have uh, they have office hours, peer advising. They would offer also webinars, language courses, and so on. There is also a program that students have students a mentoring program. We have two libraries, one in Kleve, where there are the other three faculties, and one library in Camp Lindford, where there's our faculty. Uh, I don't read all the numbers about the number of books that are not so important, but uh, modern, new, well-working libraries. There's a student advisory service. You find uh, a lot of uh, help on uh, Topics important for students. I will not go into details here. Just want to show you that there's a lot of help available for newcomers. And okay, I think that's all. Right.